Hello children, I am Namrata, back again with your mathematics class. In last class, we have learnt about 5 digit and 6 digit numbers. Today, let us understand these numbers in a better way by solving some problems on them. Before we start solving the problems, let us understand two important terms that is place value and face value. So, to understand these two terms, let us take an example. I have taken a 6 digit number. So, let us first read the number. It is 6,43,284. I repeat 6,43,284. Now, what is this place value? The place value of a digit in a number is the value it gets depending on its position. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, suppose I take the number or digit 2. The value of 2 is 200 because it is placed in the hundreds position. Now, value of 3 becomes 3000 because it is placed in the thousands position. So, depending on which position it is placed, the digit gets its value and that value is place value. Then what do you mean by face value? Face value is nothing but the digit itself. Now, suppose 2, the 2 has face value as 2 itself. 4, face value is 4 itself. So, face value is nothing but the digit itself in the number. Now children, let us solve some problems. The first problem I have taken here is write the place value of each digit in 6,23,405. I repeat the question again. Write the place value of each digit in 6,23,405. So let us start. I write the number as it is. Before we write the place value, let us write the places. So it is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands and lakh. So we we'll start from the last digit, 5. 5 is in ones place. So 5 into 1, we get 5. Next digit is 0, so 0 into the place value that is 10, that is 0. Next is 4, which is in 100's place, so I multiply it by 100, I get 400. We have 3 in 1000's place, so it is 3000. 2 in 10,000's place, so I multiply by 10,000, we get 20,000. Finally, 6 is in lakhs place, so I multiply by 1 lakh, we get 6 lakh. So what have we done? We have started with 5. Multiply by the place value. So, 5 into 1 is 5. 0 in 10's place. So, 0 into 10 is 0. 4 is in 100's place. So, 4 into 100 is 400. 3 was in 1000's place. So, 3 into 1000 we get 3000. 2 in 10,000's place. So, 2 into 10,000 we get 20,000. And 6 in lakhs place. So, multiply 6 by 1 lakh, we get 6 lakh. Now, second problem, write the face value of, we have two problems here, A and B. Let us go with A. We have to write the face value of 4 in 34,521. So, we are writing the face value of 4 in 34,000. 521. So, as we know, face value is nothing but the digit itself. 
So face value of 4 in this number is nothing but 4 itself. So let us write the answer. Face value of 4 in 34,521 is 4. Similarly, let us solve B. We have to write the face value of 7 in 7,62,439. So, as we know again, the face value of 7 is 7. So, the answer will be That is face value of 7 in 7,62,439 is 7. So the next problem is write 2,35,619 in expanded form. I repeat the question write 2,35,619 in expanded form. In your lower classes you have done this type of problems where we are writing the number in the expanded form by using its place value. So let us do it in the same way. We take the number, we start from the left side that is with 2. 2 is in lakhs place, so we write 2 into 1 lakh, 3, 3 is in 10 thousands place, so 3 into 10 thousand plus the next 5, 5 is in thousands place, so 5 into thousand plus 6 is in hundreds place, so 6 into 100 plus 1, it is in tens place, so 1 into 10 plus 9 is in ones place, so 9 into 1. So what we have done, we have taken each digit, multiplied by its place value and added it with the other digits. So 2 into 1 lakh plus 3 into 10,000 plus 5 into 1,000, 6 into 100, 1 into 10 and 9 into 1. Now the next problem is write in short form. So in the expanded form it is given, we have to write it in short form. Let us see the first problem, we have 7,500. 40 and 9. So, we start from the left side, we write 7 in the thousands place and in the hundreds place we write 5, in tens place we have 40, so 4 and in ones place we have 9. So, it is 7549. In problem B, we have 4 lakh and we have 5000, we have 30 and 2. So let us start from the left side that is 4 lakh. So in lakhs place I write 4. The next number is 5000 and in 10 thousands place we do not have anything that means it is a 0. So in the 10 thousands place I put a 0 and then we go to the thousands place where we have 5000 so I write 5. Again you have no you must be noticing that there is no hundreds place here that is 0. So we write a 0 in the hundreds place. In the tens place we have 30 and in ones place we have 2. So it is 4 lakh 5032. But we should not forget to put zeros in the places where it is not mentioned. So 4 lakh 5000. 32. In the last problem, we have 7 lakh. So, in the lakhs place, I write 7. In the 10 thousands place, we have 60,000. So, we write 6. 2,000. So, we write 2. 500. So, 5. 40. So, 4. And 2. So, we write 
2. So, it is 7,62,542. Children, the next problem is compare the following numbers and put less than or greater than in the boxes. We are using the less than or greater than symbol and telling which number is greater than the other number. So, we have three problems here. In the first one, we have five digits in the first number and four digit in the second number. So, obviously the number which is having more number of digits is greater. So, 84,321 is greater than 9,847. So, I put the symbol greater than. The next one, we have equal number of digits. So, here also we have six digits. This number also has six digits. When they have equal number of digits, how do you compare? We start with the leftmost digit and compare the two digits in the two numbers. So, here it is 8 and here it is 9. So, this second number is greater than the first number. So, which symbol do we put? We put the less than symbol telling that this number is greater than this number because here it starts with 9 and here it starts with 8. In the last problem, we have equal number of digits again. So, we start comparing from the leftmost digit. So, here we have 6, in the second number we have 6. So, both are same. So, now what do we do? We go to the next digit. The next digit is 2 and here also it is 2. So, again we move on to the next digit that is 3 and here it is 7. So, which is bigger? 7 is bigger than 3. So, the, we conclude that 62,754 is greater than 62,389. So, again I put the symbol less than. Now, the next problem is arrange the following numbers in ascending order. I repeat the question, arrange the following numbers in ascending order. We have been given some numbers and we have to write them in ascending order. So, what do you mean by ascending order? Arranging the numbers from small to big is ascending order. That is arranging the numbers from small to big is ascending order. So, we have to identify which is the smallest number among these numbers. So, we take the number with the least number of digits and if you have can notice the last number there has only 3 digits that is 489. So, that should be the smallest in the given numbers. So, I write 489 in the beginning. Next, the last but one number that is 2791 has 4 digits. So, it should be the next number. Now, the remaining 3 numbers have equal number of digits. So, how do you compare the numbers with equal number of digits? Yes, we start from the leftmost and then we compare the leftmost digit of the numbers. So, here we have 1, we have 1 and here we have 2. So, 1 is smaller than 2. So, we take these two numbers then. In these two numbers again, 1, 5 is common. It is same. So, we go to the third number from the left. Here it is 6 and here it is 3. So, we decide that 15,389 is smaller than 15,635. So, I write this number next 15389 that is 15,389 and next comes 15,635. Then we are left with only one number and it is also greater than all the other numbers. So, we write it in the end. 28,707. Now, children, we have a similar type of problem. Arrange the following numbers in descending order. In the previous problem, we arranged it in ascending order. Now, we take up descending order, which is nothing but we write or we arrange the numbers in from big to small. So, we have the numbers here. Some are in 6 digit, some are 5 digit. Since we are arranging from big to small, we take the number with more digits, that is 6 digits. If you have noticed, we have 3 numbers here with 6 digits. 
So we compare these first. Here we have 2,42,801, 2,17,391, So if you can notice 2 is common, next 4, here we have 1 and here we have 4. So these two numbers are bigger than this number. So we compare these two first. 2,42,000 and here it is 2,41,000. So this number is bigger than 2,41,000. So I write this number first. That is 2,42,801. So next comes 2,41,752. Then the last digit number is 2,17,000. 391. So we have finished with 6 digit numbers. Then we re remaining 5 digit numbers we take. We have 2 more here. It is 67,000. That is 6 comes. Here 3 comes. So 67,000 is more than 31,000. So we write this number next. 67,035. And finally the last number left is 31,000. 506. The next problem is write the greatest and smallest 6 digit number using all the given digits. I repeat the question write the greatest and smallest 6 digit number using all the given digits. So if you can see we have two problems here and they have given us 6 digits we have to write the biggest and smallest number possible using these digits. So how do we do that? We just arrange these digits in ascending order to get the smallest number and we arrange them in descending order to get the largest number. So let us write the number. Smallest will be arranging them in ascending order. So which is the smallest number here? It is 0. But we have to remember that 0 should not be put in the first place. If you put 0 in the first place, it will change from 6 digit to 5 digit. So we take the next one that is 1. So we write 1 first and then write 0 so that it remains 6 digit and does not change to 5 digit. So the next is 2. We have name 4, 6 and 8. So what is the number we have got? We have got 1 lakh 2468. So this becomes the smallest number and the greatest number is arranging them in descending order. So we start with 8, 6, 4, 2, 1 and 0. We got 8 lakh 64,210. We go to the next problem. Here we do not have 0. So we can start with 1 arranging in ascending order. So 1, 2, next is 3, 5, 7 and 9. So we have got 1,23,000. 579 as the smallest number. Greatest number is arranging now in descending order. So we start with 9, 9, 7, 5, 3, 2, 1. So it is 9 lakh 75,321. Children, today we learned about face value and place value. We also learned to expand the numbers and also write it in short form. We learned to compare numbers and also form greatest and smallest numbers using the given digits. Along with this video, I am sending you a worksheet for you to work out in your notebook. Happy learning children. Thank you.